glory, glory. Hallelujah, Jesus. Oh, bless the name of our God. Hallelujah. We give him glory today. We yes, welcome God. you. Hallelujah. Thank oh, you for streaming with Lord, us. Lord, Lord, and we Lord, welcome Lord, you to In His Image yes, Ministries, Thank where you, we are Jesus. a center of hope for all people. Yes, Lord, we want you to end wherever you are in your home to just bless Hallelujah. the Lord with us this morning. Come on and magnify oh, yes, him. Lord. Let us exalt his name together, for he's worthy of the glory and he's worthy of the honor. Oh, come on and bless the name of our God. Come on and lift him where you are. Set an atmosphere where you are so he can inhabit. He inhabits the praises of his people. Saturated. Let your heart be saturated by him today. He alone is worthy of the glory. Hallelujah. Oh, we just want his glory to rise. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Bless the name of our God. Hallelujah. Let the glory of the Lord rise among us. Let the glory of the Lord rise among us and let the praises of our king rise among us let it rise oh let it rise yes lord let the glory of the lord rise among us let the glory of the Lord rise among us and let the praises of our King rise among us. Let it rise. Let the glory rise. Let the glory of the Lord rise among let us. Glory let the glory of the Lord rise let among the us. Of our let the praises King. of our King Rise among us, let it rise. Sing oh, 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 let it rise. Sing oh, 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 let it rise. Come on, let the glory of the Lord, let the glory of the Lord. We need it to rise. rise Let your glory Let the rise. glory of the Lord rise. Let the praise us. of our Let King. The praise of our King. Oh, let it rise. Rise among us. Let it rise. Sing oh, 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 oh. Let it rise. Let your glory rise. Let the 
glory of the Lord rise among us. Let the praise of our King rise among us. Let him rise. Worthy, 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 worthy
God is healer, awesome with power. Our God, our God, our God is greater. Our God is greater. Our God is stronger. Lord, you are higher than any other. Our God is healer, awesome with power. Our God, our God. And if our God is for us. Oh! 
Jehovah. There's no God like Jehovah. Hallelujah. There's no God like Jehovah. 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 There's no There's no God like Jehovah. No God like There's no God like Jehovah. No and give God praise. If that's your song, you ought to praise the Lord. In the beauty of holiness, you ought to magnify his name. Amen. Lift his name up in the sanctuary and give God the glory today. Amen. If he's no God like your God, worship him for worship him. Worship, amen. And tear the walls down in your life. Worship him will give you strength. Amen. Worship, worship will give you renewed strength. Hallelujah. Thank you. There's no God like our God. And in times like this, we need a Savior. Amen. In times like these, amen. I just want to bring everyone in your attention that wherever you are, that you will let God, amen, allow you to make wherever you are your sanctuary. Amen. You could be in your living room. You could be in your bedroom, in the kitchen. Amen. Your den, your study. Amen. Whatever you are, we ask God's grace to be upon you. And let, your, let his presence be where you are, that where you are would be a sanctuary. Amen. So you can worship the Lord and speak to him and let him speak back to you and not be distracted by the enemy. He's been distracting you long enough. Amen. But we want God to talk to us today, to strengthen us and give us the grace we need, the grace to help in this time of need. Amen. Amen. Those of you that's able, let's give God one more round of praise. Hallelujah. For God is good and is worthy of all 
Praise Jesus. Amen. It's a very hard season, but we are trying to expedite the service because we don't want to be in this environment too long. And so, but we can feel when God wants to, I don't know, it's the Holy Spirit, just keep it moving. Say, Lord, you're going to have to help us in this time. Hey, in this time of trouble. Oh, hallelujah. I think sometimes we're going to end up just praising them the whole time. Oh, hallelujah. Got to pray and ask God for wisdom. Amen. Praise the Lord. We're going to ask God for wisdom for this hour. And I want to talk about that today as we go to the book of Joshua, uh, continuing on our assignment in Joshua chapter 3, starting at the first verse. We're going to continue our assignment about understanding traditional times. Praise the Lord when you have it. Um, <clears throat> wherever you are, I just want you to read this in your hearing. And Joshua rose up early in the morning, and they received, removed from Shittim and came to Jordan. And he and all the children of Israel were lodged there before they passed over. And it came to pass after three days that the officers went through the host. And they commanded the people, saying, When you see the ark of the covenant of the Lord your God, and the priests, the Levites, bearing it, that you shall remove from your place and go after it. Verse 4, and there shall be a space between you and it, about 2,000 cubits by measure. Come not here un near unto it, that you may know the way by which you must go, for we have not passed this way here on four. And Joshua said unto the people, sanctify your tomorrow, for the Lord will do wonders among you. And Joshua spake unto the priest saying, take up the ark of the covenant and pass over before the people. And they took up the ark of the covenant and went before the people. In verse 7, and the Lord said unto Moses, as I will begin to magnify, I will begin to magnify you in the sight of the people that they may know that as I was with Moses, I shall be with thee. Amen. In this part two of this uh, series, Understanding Traditional Times, I would like to touch the subject, and I pray that I get there, but we're going to let the Holy Spirit have his way with the time allowed. It is contentment during chaos. Having contentment during chaos. Father God, I give you praise and glory. Amen. I magnify your holy name, O God, for you are a wise God. There is no God like you. Amen. Beside you, there is no other. We thank you for your ultimate wisdom, your sovereignty. We thank you for your power, the power of your, grit, your grace and the mercy, amen, that you have bestowed for us. Thank you for the blood that was shed to sanctify us and give us an inheritance among them that are sanctified. We thank you for sitting on the right hand of the Father, giving, making intercession for us. Oh, Father, we thank you that we're in a place Amen. With our names written in the Lamb Book of Life, that we can come boldly before the throne of grace. And we can find grace to help in the time of need. Somebody needs you today. Somebody has been through a trying week. Somebody, oh God, is in a dark place. And somebody, oh Lord, is being strong and they need more strength to endure hardness as a good soldier. And Father, we pray, oh God, we know that you are a God of abundance and you're able to supply all our need according to your riches and glory. We ask you, O oh God, today that your need, our needs be supplied by your grace and mercy, that you would heal the body today that needs healing. Amen. That you would strengthen the weak, that you would lift up the hung down head. We bind the spirit of depression. We bind the spirit of discouragement. We come against everything that is contrary to kingdom living. And Father, we pray, O oh God, that you would impart and empower the children of God. And that you would add to the kingdom, O oh God, and bring many back into the kingdom or many into the kingdom as such that should be saved. Thank you for this opportunity to come into the sanctuary. Amen. To fellowship. Amen. And to be in thy presence in the unity of the faith and the bond of peace. We thank you and praise you today. I ask your oh God to help your manservant. Give me an ear to hear what you have to say to your people. Give me the tongue of the learned. Give me discerning in the gifts of your spirit that you may be glorified. We bind the hand of the enemy. We come up against all his devices that will kill, steal, and to destroy everything that you want to do, God. Help us to lay hold to eternal life. In Jesus' name I pray. And let everybody that can give God a praise. Hallelujah. Praise him like you're, like you're blessed. 
There's somebody that can't put their hands together and praise him. You ought to do it like you know you're blessed. Oh, hallelujah. Somebody that can't do what you're doing, you ought to do it with fervence. Praise the living God. I was, I got strung out or what they call binged out on the uh, series that they had about the um, race, uh, the worst, the worst race. And um, it was 10 season sessions and I was just awed over the diligence and the perseverance that they had to get a corruptible crown. Despite the circumstances, the weather, despite the ailments, the, the bones being cracked, the heads bumping on rocks, despite the temperatures, uh, 10 days they trekked through uh, Fiji Islands in order to uh, get a prize, which wasn't nothing, or just to say that they finished the race. As I began to get, I got caught up into it, and it's something that I don't usually do, but as I was looking into it, after I finished that evening, the Lord spoke to me concerning we in the body of Christ, and that he shows us that the race is not given to the swift nor to the strong, but he that endureth to the end. And I was thinking about how we tend to allow the enemy to cheat us from being strong in his grace, to push forward, and how he allows so many different excuses and problems keep us for fulfilling God's design and God's ultimate purpose for every one of us. I went into repentance and began to examine my life to say, Lord, help me. Amen. Be diligent in this course. Help me, O oh God. Amen. To do, make some major changes. Amen. That would help me. Amen. Give you glory while I still have some time on earth. I've been trying to share with the church what the Lord has given to me to share to you to help you to endure this time and calling it a season and bringing your attention that this season is actually a transition, amen, in your life. We understand that this situation we're in, the pandemic has never happened to us before, but the Lord wants you to remember, don't look at it, amen, as a crutch in your a normal lifestyle, but rather look at it that God is having you in transition. So what is a transition? The transition is uh, that which is between the space between two seasons in your life. It is crossing over from one season unto another. A transition is a bridge that will connect you, amen, from one season or an error that occurs in your life. Life, amen, is full of transitions and seasons and seasons and times. And so the places that you were 10 years ago, amen, for 10 years later, if you assess your life, you've been in different seasons. And, and in those seasons, God had put you in a place of transition because he was doing something in your life. Amen. The transition is a bridge. The transition is something that we can learn about God. During transitions, amen, it's important for me to benefit for what God is doing any time in my life, whether it's a season or a transition. And God wants me to recognize his process in it because the scripture declares in the book of Romans, all things work together for good to them that love God, to them who are called according to his purpose. Amen. Remember this. If you don't remember anything I say today, that this season of pandemic is nothing but a transition, amen. Man, a season of change. I must understand God's strategy during this season. So what is God's strategy? And everything he does in my life, he wants me to grow. He wants me to mature. He wants me to know him better. Do you hear what I'm saying? Transition is essential, praise God, because the more, amen, I keep God's, uh, amen, agenda in it, the more I look at God, the more I keep God before me, amen, I will understand more and and more who God is and how he handles things in this dimension. God is immutable, which means he changes not. Amen. He doesn't change in personality. God will not change in nature, but God will change in direction. For those of you who know the Bible, to keep it simple, we have the old covenant, which was God's dealing in the Old Testament, and we have a new covenant, which is God's dealing in the New Testament or within this Era. And so we can see that God will change direction, if you will, and change a strategy or operation to get his goal accomplished. God is not expecting me, amen, to look
look at God to stay stand still in one place. The Bible says he will in his essence because, uh, amen, Jesus is the same yesterday, today, and forever. That's something that we can handle. Do you hear what I'm saying? But we got to realize that as we're in transition, we can't use the strategies of the past, amen, and previous experiences uh, to give us the wisdom for where we are now because we've never been here before. Jesus taught the disciples, listen, amen, you cannot put new wine in an old bottle. You can't bring, amen, what God wants to do in your life in a new place and then get that through your thinking, through your philosophy. Do you hear what I'm saying? In this new dimension. You got to understand that the old wine skin or the old container cannot handle, praise the Lord, come on y'all, come on now, what God wants to do new in your life. Every new transition, praise God, is going to have new challenges. Do I have a witness today? Amen. Since this thing happened, I have new challenges. There's new challenges. Amen. That the majority of the church is online. Amen. New challenges that you have to reinvent yourself. You got to get new strategies, how to handle the stresses that's coming upon us. Do I have a witness? And so the, for we to be successful during this season, I must maintain my focus. I got to understand what my eye, what has my attention. Amen. Joshua told the people, uh, he says, when you see the ark of God, uh, go after it. The ark of God represents God's presence. Amen. When you see God, go after it. In other words, keep your focus uh, on God ahead of you. Amen. Don't try to bring him with you. Uh, keep him ahead of you. And, oh, come on now. When the Bible teaches us that when the sin, when the Israel Israel came out of Egypt that the, uh, the, the cloud over them led them by day, the fire by night. Amen. They did not walk together, but God moved and they had to take up their tent sticks and follow God. That's what I'm saying, saints of God, that during this season we have to keep our focus uh, on who God is. And Joshua 3 and 3, they command, Joshua commanded the people, say, when you see the ark of the covenant of the Lord your God and the priest and the Levites bearing it, uh, you shall remove your place and go after it. Why? Oh, amen. That you may know the way by which you must go. I got to keep my focus on God uh, in order for me to get through this transition uh, and learn what God wants me to learn in it. Uh, amen. And be successful. Amen. Why? I have not been this way before. I have not been in a situation like this before. Amen. I have not been in this pain before. And I had had the, the uh, uh, challenges uh, that I'm dealing with. I have not had these challenges before. But while I'm in this transition, uh, praise the Lord, I cannot sit waiting and hoping, uh, amen, for God to do what he used to do. Do you hear what I'm saying? I got to get a mindset to go into a new place with God. I can't sit here, amen, doing this transition, uh, waiting and hoping uh, what God used to do. Amen. Don't don't let the enemy put that on you. Amen. God is doing a new thing during this situation. I need y'all to hear me. Amen. God teaches us, praise God, that I got to have the right mind sight. Amen. Doing this transition. We got folks getting depressed. Folks want to commit suicide. Folks quitting. Folks' spirits are going down. People backsliding. There's so many mental problems uh, that people in help me, God's saints, uh, are going through because, uh, amen, they are not expecting God uh, to move or reveal himself in this situation. Amen. Some people want business as usual. Amen. I want to tell y'all saints of the living God that it's important that I have the right mindset. Amen. And not look on the old season. I got to have the right mindset. I cannot stand on the old method. Oh, come on now. We can't get, someone said we can't get caught up in the culture and not in the Christ. We got to know what God is doing in Christ Jesus. I can't say this is what we did it before. We got restrictions now that we must, amen, endure to keep ourselves healthy. We got to do things, amen, so we can keep ourselves strong. We never been here before. I ain't gonna go, go complaining and go murmuring, amen, and go fussing because folks are not acting like they used to. This is a new place and God is doing a new thing. We got to seek God for new strategies uh, for your life and your 
family. Amen. Don't judge this season of, of transition with your past life. Some of y'all are being challenged, praise God. Amen. With some obstacles that you're facing. Amen. You got to ask God the strategy for it so you can be successful. Do you hear what I'm saying? You got to go to God and say, Lord God of my life and my salvation, give me the proper attitude, amen, about myself and my relations with you. Don't let me go in depression because this happened. Don't let me get down because that happened. Don't let me look at that bill and this is going on. But oh God, help me to have the proper attitude so I can be successful doing this what? Season. Oh God, help me to act right during this time. Don't let folks that don't know you see me complaining and fussing. Amen. Talking about the church and doing crazy things. Oh God, watch over the words of my mouth. Amen. Help me to decree and declare what you say over my life. Don't let the devil cheat me. Amen. Because, amen, there's power in my mouth. Oh God, help my thinking. Amen. Oh God, the things of my mind. Help me to meditate on you day and night so I can be successful. Come on here. Oh God, I want to bring forth my fruit in this season. Oh God, I want to reap and faint not. I got to have the right attitude. Uh, uh, can I give something to y'all today? Now, uh, Amen. If you look at the, the world system, uh, uh, you can see now that as this thing is progressing, uh, they, amen, got economic issues here in our country. Uh, they got restaurants that can't have people come in and they got rulers, governors uh, that's telling, amen, certain uh, 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 businesses that they can't do this. Uh, gyms, restaurants, movie theaters, uh, come on here, essential stores and non-essential. Uh, but in the meantime, they're not sitting there rolling over, amen, playing dead, hoping uh, that somebody to give them a handout. They say, well, since we feed people, uh, we got to come up with a strategy uh, that we can still feed people, uh, amen, and maintain income. And so what we're going to do is feed them outside. And so when we first started, it was one for do it, another person's doing it. Now tents is going up everywhere. It's, amen. Since the tents work for the restaurants, uh, the school system is saying in some parts of the country, let our classes be outside so we can stay in good health. They're coming up with strategies so they can maintain uh, and be successful. Saints of the living God, uh, you got to get in the place with the Lord uh, and not with a complaint and grudging attitude, uh, but you got to ask God for the strategy uh, that what he can do in your life uh, to bring increase and strength. Uh, come on here, hope uh, in your life. Uh, the Bible declares, amen, when you talk about the unjust steward, uh, the unjust steward, amen, uh, amen, he frinkled the books, uh, amen, he worked with the system, uh, and Jesus said that the children of this world are in their generation uh, wiser than the children of light. Saints of God, this is not the time to play church. This is not the time to mess around with your walk with God. This is the time to do what God say. Being a doer of the word and not hearer only. You got to ask God for his wisdom. It is not time to sit on this roadside begging. Oh, come on here. It's time for me to go to God uh, and ask God for an impartation. Uh, so, oh Lord, have mercy. I need you today. Uh, so I can have a uh, sight to go forward. Amen. I got to say, God, uh, you know my situation. I've never been here before. Amen. My son, amen, uh, in New York looking for a job, can't get one. It's not too many jobs that's available. Uh, they even laying off Uber, amen, and different drivers. Uh, oh, come on here. Folks are getting jobs in crazy places. Uh, and some, amen, that they go outside of their profession uh, to bring in income. Uh, I serve a God of creation. I serve a God of creatability. Uh, and God's able to put download in me, uh, amen, with strategy to do something I never did before so I can be successful. Uh, oh, I feel a testimony coming up real good uh, that when I was in New York, I was a professional photographer. Uh, amen. Because in New York, uh, photography, amen, was not a commodity. Amen. To make things uh, 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 issue a pleasure. Uh, amen. Folks was doing for modeling, construction. Uh, amen. Different needs for photography. Uh, amen. Publications and printing. Uh, but when I moved to South Jersey, uh, there was not an availability. Uh, it was more for pleasure than for production. Uh, I felt like a, 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 a fish out of water. Uh, Y'all ain't saying nothing here. Uh, I had to reinvent myself. Uh, I ended up into a land
have. Uh, amen. And trying to do what I used to do. Uh, but it did not meet my need. Uh, but then someone came to me uh, and said, if you can do this, which was like a being a stock clerk, uh, I'll tell you, you can make more money than what you make it. Uh, what I was doing was not meeting my need. Uh, but I was able, uh, amen, to follow God in transition. Uh, and I left, amen, where I was. Uh, amen. And believe God to where I was going. Uh, make a long story short. Uh, I started out as a, uh, as a, a stock clerk. Uh, but I left out of there a district manager. Uh, I left out there greater uh, than I was doing what I thought uh, I was come to do. Uh, there's more in you than you expect. Uh, but it ain't coming out of your flesh. Uh, it ain't coming out of your ingenuity. Uh, what I'm telling you is coming out of God. Uh, let God be God. Uh, and let man be the liar in your life. Uh, do you hear what I'm saying? Uh, I come to let you know today. Uh, I'm not going to walk and sit on the roadside begging. Uh, complaining about my situation. Uh, but I'm going to ask God for wisdom. Uh, amen. I'm sitting there. Uh, like the blind man on the side of the road. Uh, Lord, I want to receive my sight. Uh, I believe I'm talking to somebody uh, that's sick about complaining, uh, sick of worrying, uh, sick of watching folks in the world. Uh, and you're saying in your spirit, but you have not articulated it. Uh, you need to say it today. Uh, Lord, I want to receive my sight. Uh, do you have a witness? Do I have a witness? Uh, but those that was around him uh, told him to shut up. Uh, stop getting around folks that's complaining. Uh, and trying to stay stuck in a rut. Uh, you got to get around with people that are professing. Uh, amen. Things that are positive. Uh, that's talking about the great God and Savior. Uh, we have his name is Jesus. Uh, you got to amen. Let your attitude uh, be a God attitude. Uh, they tried to get him to shut up. Uh, Jesus heard his cry. Uh, I come to tell somebody today. Uh, if you get this word in your spirit. Uh, God's hearing your cry. Uh, that's why he put this message in me uh, and all you got to do is declare uh, and to your situation uh, Lord help me receive my sight uh, glory be to God uh, the Bible said uh, God gave him what he asked for uh, I come to tell somebody today uh, that old you is dying uh, let the new you in God come out uh, I'm not trying to give you a philosophical solution uh, I'm trying to give you a God answer uh, somebody say help us God. Uh, oh, come on, say, I need to see. Uh, do you hear what I'm saying? Uh, there was a woman called Hagar. Uh, we talking about transition, Terry. Uh, Hagar had a situation. Uh, she got into a transition uh, she never asked for. Uh, I think I'm going to be in this situation for a while. Uh, Moses told her, uh, amen, to keep peace in his house. Uh, he said, Hagar, you got to go. Uh, she didn't ask, number one, uh, to be in this tra transitional period. Uh, of sharing a house with somebody else. Uh, my God, my God, uh, it got to the pace. Uh, she had to move out. Uh, she didn't ask for that transition. Uh, she didn't ask to end up in a desert place. Uh, Moses gave her water and bread uh, and told her, you got to get out. Uh, you can't stay here no more. Uh, you got to get out. Uh, she gets in the middle of the desert. Uh, amen, the water run out. Uh, she said, oh God, uh, I can't see my son dying in this desert place. Huh? She lays him down. Huh? She goes a stone play throw away. Because huh? she can't look at the disgust. Huh? Amen. She can't look at the death of her loved one. Huh? Do you hear what I'm saying? Huh? But because huh? God was with her in transition. Huh? The Bible says huh? that the angels showed up. Huh? And when she looked she saw. Huh? Amen. Water afar off. Huh? I come to tell somebody huh? you in a transition uh, and God uh, will open, open your eyes uh, if you want to see uh, he that laughs wisdom uh, let him ask of God uh, somebody say help me God uh, help me God uh, I need somebody again to say help me God uh, my God my God uh, if anybody lack wisdom uh, the first thing may not work uh, but keep on working uh, uh, come on here uh, discouragement faith discouragement faith uh, keep on going after faith uh, keep on stepping over discouragement uh, keep on going over defeat uh, keep going over disgust uh, you're going in and out vacillated uh, but hold on until your change come uh, do I have a witness
is today. Uh, oh, like I used to say, I feel like preaching. Uh, I come to tell you today, uh, oh, come on now, uh, that God is with us uh, in this transition. Uh, glory to God. Uh, Joshua was told, uh, amen, God told Joshua, uh, I got to remember you, remind you uh, of the season of this transition. Uh, what did God tell Joshua? Uh, he told Joshua, Moses is dead. Uh, in other words, that old transition, uh, that old season has died. Uh, come on here. Uh, you can look back all you want. Uh, amen. That old season has died. Uh, amen. You can can't remember this. Uh, get your pictures out of your cell phone. Uh, but God is saying, uh, I shut everything down. Because uh, that old season has died. Uh, Moses is dead. Uh, don't look glory to God. Uh, amen for life uh, in a dead season. Uh, do I have a witness? Uh, somebody need to declare in your spirit uh, that season is over. Uh, that relationship is over. Uh, that job is over. Uh, that house is over. Uh, that issue is over. Uh, somebody in here need to say uh, that argument is over. Uh, my God, my God. Uh, I'm coming out of this uh, transition with feeling. Uh, I'm coming out of this transition with faith. Uh, do you hear what I'm saying? Uh, I got to keep my focus on him. Uh, I got to look to the heel. Uh, for with coming my help, uh, my help comes from God. Uh, watch how you handle the pandemic. Uh, watch how you handle what's going on. Uh, you got to keep your eyes like flint. Uh, keep your face like flint. Uh, well, come on now. Uh, the devil is like a roaring lion uh, seeking whom he may devour. Uh, he's working overtime. Uh, he knows his time is short. Uh, can I help somebody? Uh, I want you to know today uh, you got to focus on the right thing. Uh, Ron, uh, I can focus on like they tell me on the news. Uh, another thousand folk died. Uh, I can focus uh, on what I see on TV. Uh, another hundred got infected. Uh, I can focus uh, on who's in my life. Uh, did you hear? Uh, so and so died. Uh, did they die of the virus? Uh, I can feel my spirit uh, with all that nervous. Uh, can you hear it now? Uh, pick up your cell phone in the morning. Uh, oh, it's going to get worse. Uh, second wave is coming. Uh, how many are going to die? Uh, you're going to get the flu. Uh, you better get a shot. Uh, trying to keep you fearful uh, and full of unbelief. Uh, but can I help somebody? Uh, my God, my God. Uh, I'll come to tell you uh, to avoid the flu. Uh, even without a shot, uh, you got to watch folk coughing. Uh, to avoid the flu. Uh, even without a shot, uh, you got to wash your hands. Uh, to avoid the flu. Uh, even without a shot. Uh, if someone is sneezing, uh, go the other direction. Uh, so what are you trying to tell me? Uh, I'm already doing uh, what I'm supposed to do. Uh, but you're trying to put me in fear. Because uh, the devil understands. Uh, fear cancels faith. Oh, glory to God. Uh, are y'all with me today? Uh, but God is saying, uh, doing this transition, uh, God wants to do some great things in our lives. Uh, he wants to bring us into a higher height uh, and a deeper depth. Uh, do you understand what I'm saying? Uh, when you study this, this, this situation, uh, amen, when Moses, uh, 40 years into the wilderness, uh, I'm going to get to that in a minute, uh, but when uh, they got to the next transitional period, uh, amen to the Jordan. Uh, amen. Forty years manna uh, was coming down to feed God's people. Uh, Forty years. Uh, but when they got to the place or the junction uh, for the next transition period, uh, amen, the manna stopped. Uh, oh my God. Uh, God just slapped me in the face when I was reading that. Uh, God says, look at the church now. Uh, come on now. Uh, before we going to step into this next dimension, uh, amen and what we were depending on before uh, the manna stopped uh, oh yes, oh yes, oh yes uh, the church ain't full uh, all the things are going uh, all the excitement ain't there uh, all the balloons and fanfare uh, all the showing off uh, oh glory to God uh, I have blessed you, uh, I have anointed you uh, I have blessed you going in and coming out, uh, but then it has to stop, uh, why? because you're about to possess uh, what I promised you, uh, I come 
something to tell you. I got a praise in my spirit. Uh, oh, glory to God. Uh, but in order to get there, I got to cross the Jordan. Uh, somebody give God a praise in this house. Uh, oh, glory to God. Uh, I got to cross over. Uh, my God, my God. Uh, and some things are going to stop. Uh, do I have a witness in here? Uh, Y'all all right? Can I have five more minutes? Uh, Israel uh, was in the wilderness for 40 years. Uh, what kind of mindset did they have? Uh, just like we do in the world and the church. Uh, amen. We had a mindset even in our personal lives. Uh, we had a mindset uh, amen, that was not conducive to what God's trying to do. Uh, Israel had a welfare mindset because uh, they grew and was bred. Uh, amen. By a dominating oppressive spirit. Uh, uh, come on now. Uh, and God was good to them doing that. Uh, God made sure they was taken care of. Uh, but it was under stress. Uh, uh huh. And then God. Uh, amen brings them out of that bondage uh, and tries to bring them into promise uh, and while they're in the wilderness journey uh, God took care of them still uh, they didn't have to fight for anything uh, they didn't have to work for anything uh, uh, do you see God fought for them uh, and God fed them for 40 years are you hearing me uh, and because they were so amen as blessed uh, oh come on here what did they do uh, they maintained the spirit and the attitude uh, of the bondage uh, and they complained uh, about transition uh, oh Lord have mercy uh, and that's why I believe God has given me Moses uh, because Moses is the epitome if you will uh, of a transitional lifestyle uh, Moses didn't ask to be here uh, amen he was a boy uh, amen amen he was birthed uh, in a time of destruction and death uh, but his mother had a vision uh, for the seed that came out of his womb uh, oh come on here I was birthed uh, into the world full of sin and shame. Uh, I was born in sin and shaped into iniquity. Uh, but God had greater things for my life. Uh, he ends up in Egypt bondage. Uh, we end up in the world full of mess. Uh, we end up in the world full of sen sensuality, sin, and destruction. Uh, but God has a plan for us. Uh, somebody ought to say, Lord, I thank you. Uh, to keep the story short, uh, Moses, amen, uh, will live 40 years with Pharaoh, uh, get an education, learning, uh, amen, how to operate as the leader. Uh, and then from that junction, because uh, he knew who he was, but didn't know how to handle where he was going. Uh, my God, uh, that he ended up in the backside of a desert. Uh, and then from there, uh, he went to the next transitional period, uh, which was 40 years in the wilderness. Uh, oh, bless the name of God. Uh, and then after the death of Moses, uh, we went up to learn some things about God. Uh, Moses, amen, tells Joshua uh, before they feet touch the Jordan. Uh, and Moses tells Joshua, this is the attitude you got to have. Uh, you got to be strong. Uh, I'm talking to somebody. Uh, be strong uh, and courageous. Uh, my God, my God. Uh, be strong and courageous. Uh, are you hearing what I'm saying? Uh, why should I be strong? Because the Lord uh, is with you uh, wherever you goeth. Uh, God is able to keep his promises for you. Uh, do you understand what I'm saying? Uh, in these vital times, uh, we got to amen, hold on to God. Uh, and we got to remember as a believer, uh, regardless of what happens in the news, uh, regardless what goes on in my life, uh, God is with me. Uh, oh, it looks bad and it hurts. Uh, oh, come on here. I've got to cry sometime. Uh, oh, my God, my God. Uh, but I can't deny that God... Uh, He's still with me. Come on, do your resume. Come on now. He never left you nor forsook you, did he? When you thought the bottom has dropped out. No food in the refrigerator. Doctor told you you was going to die. Laying in the hospital. Nothing but bad news coming in and out of the room. They ain't even telling you that while you're in the hospital, you can get a staph infection. Bad 
news going in, uh, bad news going out. Uh, come on now. Uh, had to go to court and face the judge. Uh, just knowing I'm going to jail. Uh, but did not over those years. Uh, God brought you out of the situation. Uh, he put food in the table. Uh, he gave you a covering. Uh, when you should have got locked up. Uh, he let you out. Uh, Y'all ain't saying nothing here. Uh, when you thought you were going to be homeless. Uh, and leave in the field in a tent. Uh, God gave you a place to stay. Uh, it might have been in the bathroom. Uh, it might have been in the basement. Uh, but God took care of you. Uh, and look at you now. Uh, if you've been through that. Uh, you can go through this. Uh, because God hasn't changed. Uh, he's still your God. Uh, you got diagnosed. Uh, with an affliction you never thought you have. Uh, the devil told you you're going to die. Uh, but you're still here. Uh, you might be popping the pill. Uh, but God's using the pill. Uh, he's using the pill to keep you. Uh, Y'all ain't saying nothing here. Uh, cancer in your life. Uh, the devil's saying yes. Uh, but God said no. Uh, and you're still here. Uh, where is the church at? Uh, my God, my God. Uh, somebody need to give God the praise. Uh, what I want you to remember. Uh, that God uh, has never left you. Uh, he's not going to leave us now. Uh, he's the only thing constant. Uh, things change. Uh, jobs change. Uh, family change. Uh, health change. Uh, money change. Uh, everything's changing. Uh, but God uh, is immutable. Uh, he changes not. Uh, he's the same yesterday. Uh, do you hear me, Melanie? Uh, he's the same today. Uh, and he's going to be the same forever. Uh, if I don't trust in nothing, Rosa, uh, I can trust in God. Uh, I look to him uh, from with coming my help. Uh, but I got to watch out. Uh, he said, when you see God, uh, when you see the ark, uh, go after it. Uh, but keep your distance. Uh, my God, my God. Uh, what the enemy wants to do. Uh, he wants sin to get in my life. Uh, to keep me separated from God. Uh, I got to make sure uh, I keep my focus. Uh, do I have a witness? Uh, I can't let sin. Uh, I can't let what goes over the internet. Uh, can't let what happens in my flesh. Uh, separate me uh, from the love of God. Uh, do I have a witness here? Uh, whatever you do, uh, don't let a sin get in your life. Uh, that'll separate you from God's strategy. Uh, oh, God. Uh, I don't care how good it looks. Uh, I don't care how nice it feels. Uh, I don't care what the devil's telling you. Uh, what would a man uh, give in exchange for his soul? Uh, I keep telling God every day. Uh, I want to be saved. Uh, I got to make it. Uh, you so soon to come. Uh, I got to be ready. Uh, don't let me miss you coming. Uh, oh God. Uh, somebody in here is a witness. Uh, if you a witness, clap your hands and say I'm almost done. Thank you, Peter God. Thank you, Peter God. Point, point two. Good God. Second point. When Moses was in the back of the desert, desert 40 40 40 in Exodus 2 and 21 it declares and watch this Moses was content to dwell with the man actually his father-in-law and he gave Moses a for with his daughter the point I want to focus on is on that word is content 40 years with Pharaoh learning how to live large to end up in a wilderness place with a father-in-law. Hallelujah. No more a prince but a servant. But his spirit, he didn't let his circumstances change his spirit. He was content. Watch this. First Timothy 6 and 6, he said, Godliness and contentment is great gain. I conclude with that thought. They're talking about contentment during chaos. The Apostle Paul teaches us in the book of Philippians chapter 4 verse 11. Now, I speak in respect of want. Come on, we need some things. 
But watch this. In that verse, verse 11, he says, for what I have learned, Paul is saying in his course of seasons and transitions, he has learned some things about God. Mm. Come on, Bishop. Church has a way of spoiling us. We instead of getting breakthrough, somebody lay hands. Come on. Come on. Instead of going to prayer, we call up the intercessors. Come on. Come on. Huh? Instead of uh, paying bills, spend around three times, get out of debt. Come on. Oh, there's no sacrifice enough to push me to be diligent. Are y'all hearing me? But Paul is saying, Good God Almighty. He said, during my course, I'm going to learn some things. That whatever state I'm in, I learn how to be content. I learn how to be a base, and I learn how to abound. And in, every, and in all things, not in just some. See, as believers, there's some places we don't mind going. Amen. We can fast, I'm going to fast 40 days. Why? Because there ain't really a sacrifice for me to fast because it ain't no sacrifice to not eat. Uh, I'm used to not eating, so I'm fasting 35, 40 days. I really don't have an appetite. Uh, uh, come on here. I'm going to pray for 36 hours. Amen. 20 hours a day. Uh, uh, pray ain't no sacrifice to me because uh, that's all you do is run your mouth. Uh, amen. It ain't coming out of your heart. It's coming out of a habit. Uh, uh, come on, y'all. Y'all work with me now. Uh, but a sacrifice to somebody uh, they got a big old appetite uh, like chocolate cake uh, oh come on here and devil dogs ice cream uh, y'all ain't saying nothing here uh, lemonade and macaroni and cheese uh, oh candy yams and ham uh, and then God tell you uh, turn your plate down 30 days uh, when you wake up in the morning you say Lord have mercy uh, oh Lord uh, your yeah, man you want to lick your hand uh, oh just give me a little something uh, do I have a witness huh? when God tell you to pray huh? and you ain't used to praying huh? my God my God huh? your knees is telling you that, that, that you're going to have rumor and talk arthritis huh? just feel your knees aching huh? don't you feel the crick in your back huh? mind going off huh? snoring in the prayer because huh? you're not used to huh? that type of sacrifice huh? but the Bible say huh? when you pray fervently huh? that God has an answer huh? Do I have a witness? Uh, tell somebody. Uh, I don't care where you are. Uh, they got five more minutes. Uh, somebody say yes, Lord. Uh, and Paul said, uh, from what I have learned. Now watch this. Uh, in verse 12, uh, he said, I know how to base. I know how I'm bound. Uh, but what struck to me, he said, and I know uh, that I am instructed. Uh, he said, I am instructed. Uh, in other words, God let him. Uh, God taught him uh, how to handle handle adversity. Uh, God taught him uh, what to do in transition. Uh, even if he's full. Uh, even if he's hungry. Uh, even if he abounds. Uh, even if he suffers me. Uh, do I have a witness? Uh, I know how to do uh, a Thanksgiving dinner. Uh, but I also know how to do uh, take the scraps and make a soup uh, and still give God praise. Uh, I know how to go to the bakery uh, and get a large bread. Uh, but I also know how to take some dough huh, and make my own biscuits. Huh? Do I have a witness here? Huh? I know huh, what to do huh, when we're thirsty. Huh? Y'all ain't saying that here. Huh? I ain't got what we had. Huh? Ain't got no lemons for lemonade. Huh? But I can take the same tea bag huh, that I used to get drink in the morning. Huh? Put some ice in it huh, and make some iced tea. Huh? I know how to abound. Huh? Oh, I wish I had a church here. Huh? And had a base. Huh? And Paul said by God uh, teaching me how to handle transition uh, I can do all things uh, through Christ that strengthens me. Uh, come on somebody because uh, I understand uh, that God shall supply all my need uh, according to his riches and glory. Uh, do I have a witness here? Uh, Paul said I've learned uh, by my experience. Uh, I learned uh, how to keep focus. Uh, what do you have your focus on y'all. Uh, Paul said uh, in Philippians 4 and 6 uh, B 
be careful for nothing uh, but by everything in prayer and supplication uh, tell God what you need uh, and when you do that the peace of God uh, will come on in uh, do I have a witness uh, famous Amos uh, made him some cookies uh, he didn't have a lot of money uh, but he knew he had a bad cookie uh, he said what well, I'm going to do uh, I'm going to put some cookie on a tray uh, I'm going to a popular street uh, I'm going to give away my cookies uh, somebody ate some of them cookies uh, they kept coming around because uh, he was there every day uh, not sometimes here uh, and sometimes there uh, he made sure somebody can see him uh, but then one day uh, somebody said uh, I want a couple of dozen of them cookies uh, before you know it uh, he sold his recipe uh, he became a millionaire uh, you don't be lazy uh, doing this transition period uh, let God work in you uh, both to will and to do uh, his good pleasure uh, and my preaching uh, keep your focus uh, keep your eyes on God uh, be careful for nothing uh, so the very God of peace uh, oh Lord uh, he'll keep your hearts in mind uh, finally my brethren uh, whatsoever things are true uh, whatsoever things are honest uh, whatsoever things are just uh, whatever things is pure uh, whatever things are lovely uh, if there be any praise uh, if there be any virtue uh, think on these things uh, when the devil tell you uh, you ain't gonna make it uh, say that ain't pure uh, when the devil tell you uh, this is your way out uh, you can do this uh, and you know it's illegal uh, you say uh uh-uh, uh that ain't just uh, I'm gonna keep my mind on Jesus uh, do I have a witness uh, it's your thinking uh, can I stop right here uh, we all are uh, uh, Afrocentric people uh, and we understand music uh, and when you got music uh, I like music I got a testimony about it uh, uh, we gotta love music uh, but when you get in your car uh, I like a certain uh, depth in my music. I like to hear the bass have a breath. Not too much that my mirror's shaking. I don't like it like that. But I like to hear it heavy. Boom, boom. I like to hear the treble not too high. With a man that I can't hear the high notes. But I just just it where it's perfect. Do you hear what I'm saying? Now what am I doing? Y'all better hear me. Amen. There's a certain music that comes over the radio. But I have just in my, 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 my bass and my treble. Amen to where I can feel good by listening to it. Uh Uh-huh. Watch this. Watch this. It's the same music. Uh, Come on here. Uh, But the adjustment came from me. Uh, Amen. So I can enjoy it. Uh, We can't stop what's playing out here uh, concerning uh, this pandemic. Uh, But I can adjust uh, what's going on uh, so it can bless my life. Uh, Y'all ain't saying it. Uh, I can look at it different. Uh, I can just tweak it. Uh, Amen. So I can uh, work with it. Uh, Come on now. Uh, Listen to what's going out. Uh, But work with it. Uh, Tweak it. Come on somebody. Say Lord I need your help. Uh, Oh hallelujah. Uh, And then Paul says in my conclusion uh, that it's God that worketh in me both to will uh, and to do his good pleasure. Uh, And this is the verse that you got to remember going home. Uh, In Philippians 2 16 uh, he gives us the key and the key is this. uh, Hold forth the word word of life that you may rejoice in the day of Christ. How did Paul do all this? How did he hear God? How did he experience amen, this place he could be in to abound and suffer loss because he held forth forth. He held to the word of God. He held on to the word of God. He didn't focus on the previous seasons, no more than knowing who God was in that season. Thank you, Jesus. I'm so glad that I'm saved. In such a time as this. I'm going to ask somebody, I'm going to ask this person this. Uh, maybe today or tomorrow. Before the pandemic, God spoke to this individual for business. To him. I believe they prayed and asked God, should I do it? Now, in all of us, it's more than one thing. I wanted to do a lot of things. I ended up being a preacher. I 
believe this person said, yeah, we're going to do this business. We're going to do that. But in God's design, led them to do this. The pandemic occurs. All those other business break belly up. But when that God showed them to do, they're still going. You may not always get all the answers right. What's important is to have my heart right. Let God show me direction to go. Say amen. amen. We're talking about inventors and all that. I'm going to bring this into an end. Right here, all, all the inventors and all of the uh, situations that has occurred in our times. Started out with so many things, and so many things never came into fruition. But it does not mean that it's not part of my destiny. Somebody may feel as though that because you can't see it now, it's not for you. I need you to see that not more so in material, but more so in spiritual. Do you hear me? Because heaven and earth is going to pass away. Amen. Say amen. amen. Don't focus on, I'm trying to get you successful because we have to be creative during this season. Yes, but don't get so that your focus is on building barns. Yes. And not storing up for your soul. Yes. I'm going to say it again. We have to preach these things because we're in a challenging time. Yes, yes, yes. And please, Hear me in the spirit. What would a man give in exchange for a soul because he gained the whole world? Amen? Saints, as we go through this transition, be of good courage. Be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Hallelujah. For the Lord said he'll never leave you nor forsake you. I don't know what you're going through, but everybody here is dealing with something. I want to encourage your faith and counsel your fear. I want God to do something great in your life. Satan's doing everything he can to get us to quit. Trying to get us to go in the wrong direction. But if God be for us, who can be against us? Give him praise. I'm going to pray. Philippians 4, no, Philippians 1 and 6, it declares, for God shall, he said, for being confident of this very thing, hear me, he that begun a good work in you will perform it till the day of Jesus Christ. Do you hear me? Do you hear me? Thank you, Jesus. I know I, I, know I text you, encourage you, and tell you to be determined. So many times you could have died. Just end up in the hospital, you could have died. Am I right? God told me to tell you. He didn't let you die then. He ain't dying now. Be confident in this very thing. That he that begun a good work, he gonna finish it. Do you hear what I'm saying? Hallelujah. He begun the good work in you. He's going to perform it. Let us pray. Father, we thank you. Oh, God, I praise you. Come on, praise him for about 30 seconds. Just praise him. Worship. We need to worship him. 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 Worship the Lord. We need to worship the Lord. We need to worship him. Worship him. Worship God. That's where your strength is. Worship him. 
Hallelujah. Oh, God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Worship is going to keep you during this time. Worship is part of your warfare. When I was standing there and I was feeling the spirit and how the Lord was using the psalm, I said, Lord, you got to let me hear you when you're going to tell me. Just let them go. Amen. Amen. We, got, we got our singers in the house. Just let them go. We got to take them one at a time. Just let them go because worship is our warfare. Hey, hallelujah. Oh, God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We thank you for coming. We thank you for sharing this time of worship with us. We thank you for coming out. We pray that you are blessed today. We pray that, amen, something was said to inspire you, to keep you. We pray for your family. We're here to intercede for you. Amen. At this time, but before you exit, amen, please listen to our announcements. The Lord will direct you. And again, we praise God for your attendance. Amen. Now our announcement. God bless you, and thank you for tuning into our In His Image Facebook live stream this Sunday morning. We pray that you were blessed by the message, Understanding Traditional Times, Part 2, Contentment During Chaos. From our senior pastor, Bishop Dennis Thompson, please like and share this message. You can meet us here Sunday mornings at 11 a.m. We are following all CDC guidelines. For more messages like this from the ministry, continue to join us on Facebook Live on Wednesdays and Fridays at 6 p.m. We want to thank you for your giving, and we continue to admonish you to support this ministry financially. There are various methods in which you can financially support this ministry. You can download the Givelify app and give that way. You can download the Cash app, search for dollar sign in his image C, and you can give that way. On our Facebook page, you can give via Square Link and PayPal. If you would like to mail in your financial gifts or write how this ministry have blessed you in any way, the address is P.O. Box 1703, Bridgeton, New Jersey, 08302. Again, please visit our website at www.inhisimageministries.net. On our website, there are various methods and venues in which you can give, in which you can listen to the Word of God. We have iHeartRadio and podcasts. You can listen to the Word of God on the go. Noonday prayer is still going on, and it has been a blessing. Every Monday at noon, hosted by our Elder Josephine Boled. For prayer requests, please email us at in his image breakthrough, IHI breakthrough at gmail.com or inbox Josephine Holland Boled. Please be mindful every, 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 every member. Pastor's Aid Pledge is due in October. Please be mindful to give what is required every single year. For everyone who sold their money from the play back into the ministry, we humbly thank you. Please like, share, and subscribe. You can rate this ministry from 1 to 10 and teach us or show us what we are doing that has been a blessing to you. God bless you all. Stay safe, at least six feet apart, and please wear your mask.